Oh. Oh. Hello, also from the cat. From Edgar Boy. Hello, everybody. This is the first time we've done a live where we've actually been this in the same room. Literally the first time we've ever done. We did a live once anything. upon a time. Hello, everyone. Once upon a time we did a live. Yeah, we did. Ages about ago. About Gemma Collins. Going that was Chicago. like. That was Pre like this. April. Okay, what are you doing? Are you I was still about? delivery driving. Right. Well, it was after Chicago. It was after I'd left Chicago, wasn't it? And we were deli- I was delivery driving then. Hello, everyone. Can we talk about this cow for a second? Oh, no, this is literally. He's sat. Like. You can't really see him, but he's sat with his bum here and he's just looking at me. He's like. And. Carrie, are you enjoying Canterbury? I love Canterbury. Can you see him? Edgar, what's your favourite pastime? <laughs> Edgar, what's your favourite pastime? Waking up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he literally loves to do he So, if any of you know, Don't we're in bed me. and Edgar just likes to put his paw Edgar, your breath on stinks. your forehead. Oh god, Ooh. I can smell that from here. I know, his breath stinks. Yeah, I can really smell that from here. Oof. Yeah. It's because we gave everyone. him that little like treat today, yeah. that, yeah, that yeah. treat. I love the oh, we love the pictures. Can we expect a couple YouTube vids in the future? Can I, I love how you're looking at me like so you're the YouTube queen. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I think so I guess so. We've got no like concrete plans as such. Yeah, we're very much all about the gram at the moment all about all about the ground the ground we're trying to read i'm so sorry everyone i'm trying to read all your stuff so if you can put them in the q a that'd be better because then we yeah, can read I, them i can't lean forward at the moment because i've got <laughs> she's got a cat a cat it's oh is tacky tree up no tacky tree tacky tree is isn't a thing this year because once upon a time i used to have two trees in a faraway land in a faraway <laughs> land <laughs> Uh, I used to have two trees. One was classy tree and one was tacky tree. Yeah. Um, because I didn't feel like I was able to put all of my Disney ornaments on the main tree. However. However, <laughs> now Joel is like the biggest, Joel is like the biggest Disney fan. So we have decided to merge. merge. And we now have the one main tree but it's essentially just a big Disney cheese fest. Yeah. It's it's a nice Disney cheese fest though. It's yeah. not like it's not like horrendous, is it? Well what it's I was thinking nice. of doing was doing like a little reel of maybe just on my one instead of, oh no, maybe I'll do it on both of ours. Oh, yeah, good, on on this one. because um, they are like ornaments. Like a lot of them are ornaments. Yeah, they're not they're nice well. stuff though. But it's like a it's a an amalgamation of our ornaments so maybe it would be good to put it on this what's one. your favorite one what's your favorite one that we've bought i love the i love the wally and eve one yeah my i think my i mean obviously apart from the dwarves mine's the baubles i think the mickey mouse baubles mm. that we've got they're really nice yeah, we'll show them nice. in a reel soon um donna i do have a dopey on the dis- on the christmas tree there are a couple of dopey there on is because oh, i already had one uh, can we expect an engagement story. I, uh, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Do we? Do, it was my, it was my fault because I was, I was, I was oh, testing my luck. Engagement it? story. Wasn't it? Wasn't On the train from Sheffield, have you ever been? To, have you been to Sheffield? Yeah. We both have for different different shows, right? Yeah, I did Chitty and Adams there, and every time I'm there, something goes wrong. I did Kiss Me Kate. And I did. I saw you in Kiss Me Cake there. Yeah. And I did Fat Friends. And I did something else there. I can't remember something else. I went to see Kiss Me Cake because I knew Becky Locke. Mm-hmm. I mean, we was, I was specifically going for Becky Locke because me and Sophie were going up and we were staying in her digs. But I knew that you were in it. And I obviously knew you did at the time. Did you? Yeah, of course I knew did that you? you were in it. Yeah. I mean, I knew we knew each other, but like we didn't. Yeah, because there was a few people that I knew in the cast. There was you, Leighton, yeah, Jess, we, Jess um, Buckby. Yeah. I remember we sort of sat Sometimes. around a big table, didn't we, with you and Sophie. We, 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 we had drinks had afterwards. A, we had a good 20-minute chat that night. Yeah, we did. We did. That was just a... I think you were about to go into Les Mis again. I just found out that I'd got Fontaine. 
That day? Literally the day before. Really? The day before. I'd, so I'd had my audition. Because we came up the 5th the fifth and the 6th. I can't believe I remember this. We came up I can't. the 5th and the 6th <laughs> of January. Because I remember it was like right after New Year's. And my audition for Fontaine had been on the 3rd. Because I right. remember panicking. Because I was like, oh my God. Like... I thought I had a good while not having to think about yeah, yeah. auditioning for stuff or... Sorry, boy, did I frighten you? I thought I, I you know, wouldn't have to worry about auditioning for anything or... Um, you know, I thought I was going to have, like, Christmas, New Year's off to, like, chill. And then just before Christmas got an email to say that Cameron's office wanted to see me for Fontaine and they wanted to see me, like, early in the year because they were getting the cast list, like, nailed down. Agreed. And they wanted to see me on the 3rd of January. Was that for the, was that for the concert? The concert, right. yeah. So it would have been my first time playing Fontaine. And was that like the first concert thing that they did? Because they've done quite a few of them, haven't they? It was the first all-star the one stage the concert. No. Gilgood. One of the Gilgood, right, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an astronaut, I've just lost count. Because yeah, no, there's no. been quite a few. Um, yeah, that was the, the all-star, <laughs> the one with like Michael Ball and Alpha Bow and stuff. We are defeating this question... Defeating? We are we are dodging this question. Yeah. Are we dodging it? I don't know. Are we dodging it? Is now the time? Is my question. I I think I think we I think we can. I think we can say a little bit at least. Yeah. Should we say the pretense of what it was and what? Do you maybe want to chuck a couple toys out of his basket yeah. just so we can sit in it? Edgar's got a basket that's an old Christmas hamper from like, oh god, like four years ago. There's but he, he loves it. It's too small for him. There he is. There we go. <sighs> um. <coughs> only, only if you're happy to though. Yeah, I just. <laughs> it's just weird when you've not told a story yet. And then you want the first time that you tell the story to be like... Okay, should we go... Decent. Should we go... Well, should we start from the very beginning then? Before the engagement? Where should, to? Should we start about how we first got together? Okay. You tell it better than I do. Oh. Uh, I don't know where to start. Right, okay. Where do I start? I'll, I'll start at the bit where we weren't together. Okay. And you can take over on... You can take over from the first date. Does that sound like a plan? Okay. So. I feel like that's, <laughs> that's dangerous giving me that part of the story, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, basically, myself and Carrie, by complete and utter chance and fate, happened to go and see again. No, we need to, if we're doing this, we need to go back further. Oh, okay. Well, then you start then. <laughs> So, I <laughs> back had... Back the Stone Age. Yeah. Back in the <laughs> Back in the um, I was in Les Mis playing Eponine in 2014. Oh, you're going to the very beginning. I'm going to the, yeah, the very beginning. Okay. At the very beginning. beginning. I'm in theatre. Um, Thank you. So. I need to sit like this because... Oh. I'm pushing the Story time. I'm pushing the table further Story and further away. Story time. We're carry on pleasure. So, the... Uh, can't hear my mouth. Oh. So I had I was in Les Mis playing Eponine at the uh, the Queens. What was the Queens? It's now the Sondheim. Um, and I was playing Fontaine. And Joel <laughs> was next door at the Apollo selling ice creams. <laughs> Sorry. In urine town. Sorry. In urine town, and you were first cover, Bobby. Oh, then I was. Yeah, I was <laughs> second cover originally, and then when we moved into town, I was first cover. And I knew Nathan Amzai, who was in... Who was our barrel. Who who's came in, to be in, in our the barrel, cast yeah. in Year in Town. And just look at the cat for a second. It just... Oh, I can't. It's too much. It um, and it was my birthday <clears throat> coming up. I said I wanted to come and see Year in Town. And Nathan got me tickets to come and see Year in Town for my birthday. So I went to watch it. And it just so happened that it was Joel's first night on as Bobby. Yeah. Um, and I met up with Nathan afterwards at Stage Door and obviously was like, oh my God, that was amazing. And I said, but I really want to meet the guy who played Bobby because he was amazing. And Awful. I've got, I've got some I've got notes. Terrible. <laughs> I've got a few notes. Um, and Nathan was like, oh my God, that was actually Joel's first performance. Was it your first performance ever? Did you get on it? It was a matinee, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it wasn't a matinee. 
Oh, is it gone? No. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe no. you've done the matinee then and I... Oh, maybe. The even- and I came to watch the evening. Maybe. I can't... To be honest, it was such a blur. I can't really remember. Maybe I did watch the matinee. I feel like so, because if you would have been in Les Mis, then you would have come and watched... I me. must have, yeah. We did the Thursday matinee, because Bradley came to watch my first night. And that, and Bradley would have been... Bradley was in Les Mis at the, t- at the time, I'm sure Maybe I did then. So, I can't remember. I just remember it being, okay. like, vaguely dark when I came out. But then again, if it, if uh, it was like... I thought you meant, like, the piece. I was like, yeah, the, the piece show is very dark. vaguely dark. dark. No. Yeah. I remember it being dark at stage door. Yeah, it was... So maybe it was, like nearing the end of the year well because well yeah because it would have been October so yeah, yeah of course it would and all we did was October we only did October to the beginning of January so it was through winter well, time anyway okay that makes sense then maybe I saw the matinee and went to see the show we only did three months I mean it was it was a shame because we looked, it was an amazing show. was it meant to run longer than that or was it, it was open it was open ended but oh, the, the the difficult, I think the difficulty with your in town was as off on a quick tangent was no one at that time weirdly would let us promote the show on TV because of the title Oh. Which is crazy compared to what you see now on TV anyway. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it was weird. Which was such a shame because the show was the so show. sort of The show is crazy. Great. The show was wild. And I there's a lot it. of culty sort of shows now that like the headers and the things that people get into. And I think Urine Town would have been a one, that, one of those. Urine Town was like, a, that's the perfect show to yeah. sort of be a sort of cult. Yeah. Fan, like hardcore fan based yeah, type yeah, yeah. show. For real. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. Um, so yeah. That was how I actually met Joel. Um, And that was 2014. Yeah. And since then, we've sort of like, you know, we've followed each other on social media and we bumped into each other a few times at like... And Carrie's ignored my messages. I don't, I feel so bad. I, oh, no, why are we revealing this? Honestly, I'm going to reveal this, guys. So Joel hope- sent me like eight Facebook messages over the years, and uh, I yeah, didn't over the years, a not like single one. yeah. Don't, I'm not like some weird stalker, like not no. like in quick succession. I mean, over the amount of time that we've actually sort of over the course known of like each other, eight yeah. years. Like if I'd seen you in a show, or we'd bumped into each other, yeah. Because it? Be sort of thing. so this is another weird coincidence. Joel's housemate Ed Brewer was in Heather's playing Ram's dad. The, he was the coach as well, wasn't he? Yeah, played Coach Ripper. Big the one that Bud, Nathan played, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that Nathan Coach played. Ripper, Big Bud Dean, and I can never remember if it's Kurt or Ram's dad who sings Dead Gay Son. Um, but Ed was in Heather's and was name. living with Joel at the time and has lived with you as your husband. Nine for like years. Nine, nine years. And a half years, yeah. Um, so you came to press night. I did. To Heather's. Didn't say hello. Do you know what? Like Facebook messaged me afterwards to be like, because you were great. Everyone was around. Right, listen. This but is about the same. Do you know hello. what? I can't. There's the thing about press nights. It's always really, it's really hard and really awkward because yeah, press nights are hard. You try and get to see the people that you want to congratulate, but always they're always the people that are always needed for like press or yeah. There's always someone with a camera. It's like, can we get a quick box yeah. pop? And normally, like yourself or Jamie in that particular situation, you you didn't really like stop. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You were in front of a camera for what's on stage. And also, or chances were, chances were, we had like two shows the next day. Yeah, so exactly. We were like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, basically, the point is, <coughs> is that we were in each other's like profiteral vision. Profiteral like vision. Um, profiteral world. And yeah, there were a bunch of things like you came to see Les Mis because you knew Bradley. You came to yeah. see Heather's because. I mean, you knew me, but you were going for Ed. I yeah. went to see Kiss Me Kate because... Oh, I, I went Becky. to see you in town because yeah. of Nathan, and that's how I met you. I went to see... Uh, it's kind of like anything, isn't it? Oh, sorry. sorry. It's kind of like anything, though, isn't it? You, you just... You kind of get to know each other through other people or through the industry, and you just end up bumping into each other yeah. randomly. Like, you're not, like, friends, but you're sort of acquaintances, yeah. and you are able to go, oh, hi, and have a conversation and not just but be But the thing weird. is, in, like, the theatre industry enough of those moments happen where you bump into someone enough and talk to them enough at random events where you haven't actually organised to hang out. You do that enough to the point where you're like, yeah, we're friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you <laughs> you're do. Like, yeah, I've, yeah. I've hung out with them enough and like talked to them enough at random events that I know enough about them yeah, and they yeah. know enough about me for me to go, yeah, we're mates. Yeah. We're mates. We don't go horseback riding and go for long walks through the woods and braid each other's hair, but I know... Do we not? Oh. Well, now we do. Yeah, now, now we do. You braid my lovely... Short hair. So, carrying on for that story, we, we bumped into each other a few times. 
However, I'd never got each other's number. We'd never no. actually got each other's number. We were obviously... It was you know, always like through like, Facebook Yeah, and we were in different Instagram relationships or, or seeing different people or whatever. So nothing was ever like that. And then basically... Well, we just never... We never had time to find that out, really, had we? No. And also, we, like I said, we were other, always either in a relationship or seeing someone else, so we would never do that. But I we? just... we'd ne- I don't think... I mean, I can't speak for you, but I'd only ever bumped into you at, like, events where I wasn't thinking, like... Yeah. Oh, a potential... Yeah, suitor. A suitor, like, <laughs> here. A potential suitor. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, you were always just... <clears throat> Joel. Joel. <laughs> still just Joel. Just Joel. Yeah, you still just are. Just Joel. Um, and so, basically, we ended up going to see School of Rock together in Wimbledon to see our friends Becky Locke and our, uh, Matt Rowland, who was in the show, and a few people well, I didn't know the show. Matt then. You didn't know Matt, but then you worked with his other half shift, didn't I you? I did. Um, so... Completely by chance. And then, basically, we sort of just saw each other at stage door. Mm. And then we just started sort of messaging on Instagram, didn't we? Just Yeah, like, well, you messaged me to say it was, like, really nice to see you. And, like, you're, yeah. you're always one of those people that's, like, <coughs> I'm always really pleased to see you just because you're a really lovely, like, human. Oh, I remember bumping into you outside of the you. umbrella rooms once. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've changed my mind now, but... <laughs> no, there's a ring on your finger, you're like, actually... Yeah. Oh, I'm not too sure oh. about this one. Um, no, I remember bumping into you outside of Umbrella Rooms, or like across the road between like yeah. Shaftesbury, Umbrella. I don't remember this one. I'm so yeah. sorry. I don't remember I can't, it. No, I can't... It was just... It was literally like... A t- in fact, I know exactly where I was going. I was on my way to record the video for I Say No and Seventeen. Right, okay. Um, Because we did it at the Umbrella Rooms in, like, their recording studio under under the um, okay. rooms. Right. Oh, what happened to that? I have no idea. Don't know. What year was this? 17? No, later. 20... Beginning... It would have been, like, beginning of 2019. Oh, okay. Cool. What were you doing? I don't know exactly what I was doing. What were you doing? I was going to do a recording for Michael Bradley. Oh, that sounds about right. There we are. Carry on. I've just made my finger bleed. Oh, that's bad. I'm so sorry. Mm. Do you want to get a blaster? Nah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll use my <laughs> dress instead. That's what I'm doing. Um, so um, basically, yes. School of Rock. Bumped into each other. Just started messaging, didn't we? Yeah. You then invite... We then exchanged numbers, which was the first time we'd actually exchanged yeah. numbers. Chatting away. And then you invited me to your... You told me that you were about to play the king in Hamilton, and I was like, right, well... I'm yeah, but at first you were like... now. Yeah. <laughs> got, got to get in there. He's about to have a really high-profile, well-paid job. As got in. to get in there. As in. As if. Um, in the shallow, shallow. <laughs> um, and basically, you invited me to your... Book launch. Book launch. Yeah. Still, like, just... Well, we FaceTimed, didn't we? We FaceTimed oh, yeah, we to FaceTime. be like, right, I haven't seen you <clears throat> in like three years. There's been a pandemic in the middle. We need to like... We experienced a lot of similar... I'm not going into detail, but we experienced a lot of similar things in the industry. And we had to... We discussed that. We discussed Disney. We just... There was we, a lot we of things we just had like a full on like yeah. debrief over the time that we hadn't seen each other. Because we'd never actually... Sat and had, had a, a conversation. Ever, that- really. No, no, but like, like mm. not in depth, not properly... Yeah, okay. Not like a coffee or anything. We'd never no. done anything like that, had we? No, the closest we came to was Sheffield. Yeah. Where we sat and had like a proper like one on one chat after that. Yeah, we did. Um, and then you invite me to the book launch. I came to the book launch. Well, no, I just want to preface <coughs> the, the FaceTime that we had, which we thought was going to be like 25 minutes, turned yeah. into a two and a half hour conversation. conversation. Yeah, it um, did. And the only reason it stopped was because you had to go. And do yeah. rehearsals. Yeah, because we were like, but we were like, oh. Yeah. And we were like, just like, okay, bye. Bye then. After two and a half hours, which was. Yeah. I've never, I've never really done that with anyone before. The only person you'd probably ever do that, well, there's quite a few people, but mainly Scott. Scott, would yeah. Would be the person that you'd have two and a half hours. I don't, with, I don't FaceTime anyone. No, no. I don't really like talking. On the phone. On the phone. Like, yeah. At all. So anyway, we did that. I went to the book launch. And then basically, a few weeks after, we just, you you kind of went on your book tour, didn't you? We just had the odd text here or there. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, I kind of like it towards the beginning of May. Yeah. I was quite nervous. And then you'd had a few drinks with Scott. <laughs> Yeah. And was like, yeah, I was like, are you gonna, do you fancy me? Do you fancy me? me? Are you going to ask me out at any I, point? Because I've been waiting really patiently and I'm bored now. And then so. I was like, yeah, let's go on a date. And it was the date that never The date that never ended. ended. Yeah. So I had tickets to, uh, what was it called? The Multiverse of Madness? Yeah, the, the, the new... Um, Doctor Strange film. Strange, yeah. I had press tickets to a screening the following night, and I knew, obviously, knew that you're a big Disney Marvel fan. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, it's a great first date. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. That's a great first date to take <coughs> someone on." So, um, I was in rehearsals for Treason at the time. I was doing a workshop for Treason, wasn't I? Yeah. Um, and I was about to start Hamilton. You were about to start rehearsals. No, you weren't. Hamilton. You were still doing Cinderella, weren't you? No, no, I was doing. Oh, I got, yeah, yeah, but I was. Up. We had a workshop first, so I was doubling right. up. You were doubling up. And. <clears throat> Cause I went I went and ran that was it. I went and ran that ten K yeah. on the Monday. Yeah. And then I had to go to Treason rehearsals and then I went with Scott and P B yeah. to Sophie's and what we thought was just gonna be a quick drink and a lunch turned into not. a quick drink and a lunch and then we stayed there so long that we ended up having dinner there as well. <laughs> Dead. Um and then I had Tuesdays off from Cinderella. Yeah. So then took you to it was it was yeah yeah it was so a really we went good for coffee day. and then we went to go and see the movie and then the movie finished but it was like half nine and neither of us we didn't want to go home so we were like dinner should we yeah. go for dinner yeah yeah so we went to balance and the rest is history and the rest is history that was how it started and in seriousness it kind of never really ended no so cut to um, <laughs> cut to the engagement. <laughs> um, I think I won't stop bleeding. Th there was no, there's no doubt about it that I knew. Like I, I knew, I think within the first, well, yeah, I just knew. It doesn't even matter when I knew, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, you kind of did, I don't know. Do we go in, I don't know if we go into this. I don't know either. Because people just, I don't know. Anyway, the fact is, I knew this was the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. So I put the wheels into motion um, and I, I um, got this beautiful engagement ring made. And the only people that n knew about it, well, there's, a, there's a quite a few people that knew about it because mm. there was a little bit of a do, wasn't there, yeah. all the day. But um, primarily was Scott and your mum and dad, yeah. wasn't it? Um, I went and asked your mum and dad. Uh, Edgar. Oh, Edgar. Edgar's just getting in a box. So Out. Now, not me. having that. Just... Uh. Oh. <laughs> He's now sat in the box. Boy. Really comfy. Why are you covered in dust? Where's all that come from? So, um... Boy. So basically, I went and asked, um, Carrie's mum and dad. You know, just because I felt it was the respectful thing to do. Obviously, I was extremely nervous because I thought they were like, you're crazy. Um, they weren't. They were thrilled. They love you. <laughs> um, which was, they were like, take her, please. <laughs> please, was, take was, her. It was also a massive relief for both of us, really, wasn't it? Because I think yeah. it was just like, because it was such of a whirlwind thing. Yeah. But I also think... Yeah, but also, we... We'd not, not... We'd spent pretty much every day together. It yeah. wasn't like we'd gone on like a the odd date was it it was no. like we saw each other we it made was it... any any spare time we had when we weren't at work we, we saw together. each other so it was pretty much every single day we saw each other so it kind of felt like we did i don't know five or six dates within a day or two days yeah realistically yeah um so i guess that's kind of how we knew and then <laughs> i contacted few of my friends at the theatre cafe but also i just want to i just want to say that like you proposing wasn't 
a surprise. Like, <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, like, she she knew about. It. I mean, no, She's, but not but not even in that sense. Like, I knew I knew at some point <clears throat> we were going to propose because yeah. we talked about it constantly, like all the time. We still talk, but we talk about everything to do with our future. Yeah, like, all the time. And the thing is, as well, like not that not that every relationship is perfect, but we talk like a lot. Probably because you can't shut us up, really, isn't it? I'm, I mean, if this live is anything to go by, then you, people like you will understand that we, we don't come do up for stop breath. Talking. Sorry, but this is like uh, we're. Uh, I mean, we. It's the first time we've ever spoken about it. We've never spoken about. No, it, no, but I mean, we? like us. Like when this live goes off, we'll be exactly the same. Yeah. We'll Apart try from, and watch Disenchanted and we'll get about 10 minutes in and be like, oh my God, I forgot to tell you this thing. Like, blah, 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 and then we won't stop. <laughs> yeah. I saw a jumbo jet dressed like a cow. Don't know why what? that came into, I don't know. But, you know, it's the only thing that came into my head. I'd much rather see a cow dressed like a jumbo jet. <laughs> <coughs> Great. Anyway. So, <coughs> so I got in touch, yeah, sorry. I got in touch with my uh, friend at the Fist Cafe, Jack, lovely Jack. Lovely Jack. And I, okay, so... Two things very important about Carrie. I call her Miss Marple because you can't <laughs> get anything past this woman. She's so quick and so intelligent. It's so difficult to try and surprise Carrie with anything. It is really hard to surprise you because you, you just yeah. have like a sixth sense, don't you? Yeah. Like, like you instantly day, know the other day, yeah. after Hamilton, Joel came to... Uh, he hopped on a train and came to Canterbury to try and surprise me. But just because he went quiet after the show and usually he texts me to say that he's on his way home, even if he's going here and not to, like, where I am, he'll text me just to be like, oh, I'm just jumping on the tube now, yeah. I'll, I'll text you in a bit or whatever. But because you didn't say anything, I was like, he's it's coming also here. Like, it's not even like I'm bad at, I'm bad at lying. It's just like, you, you just, I know. just know. You really do know. Yeah. So it's quite funny because there's tonight. not even there's not even like any point there's no point me trying to get anything past her. So um, what is hard though, and what was hard with that engagement was you knew I was up to something, but I obviously couldn't tell you what I was up to yeah. because otherwise it would have ruined it yeah. would have ruined it. Do you know what I mean? And that was difficult. Yeah. There was like a time when before I got onto it, there was a time when I was I was doing Shrek with my company up north. And, I was, and so the only people that knew in detail about what was happening was Jack, who was running it for me, and also Scott. <clears throat> and at the time, we basically asked Carrie to do a fake promotional tool, really, for yeah. the for the theatre cafe, for the They diner, wanted me to it? do a, a, a theatre cafe YouTube video. Yeah. Which was going to be a treasure hunt through, through the London's West End. Yeah. So basically, that was the, that was the premise was... I would get Carrie to go to different theatres and she'd have a clue and she'd end up at the final theatre and that's where I would propose to her. But obviously, because Carrie has this like sixth sense of an ether, she's like, this isn't right, something's wrong here. So she starts... Well, it, it was because, it was because, <coughs> it was because you said that you were first right. Clue number one. Joel had said that I he was really going to be... You though. did, you did, you tried. Joel said that he was going to be recording with a friend on an afternoon that we could have spent together. And that's just not like Joel. If there's an afternoon that we can spend together, no matter what he's asked to do, he will just say no and spend the, and we will spend the afternoon together. Well, because we barely get... Because we barely get any time together. I, I genuinely think, even with our social media and stuff, people don't understand, like, we've had... Three days together since you got back from Florida? Like yeah. three days. Yeah. And today is like your first day off from us being apart from kind of a week. Well, Do you know what I mean? And this is the only day off that has been both our day off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because then it won't go, the, you'll have a Monday off yeah, and I'll have a Sunday yeah, off. Yeah, so. next week I start Mondays <coughs> off and he has Sundays off. So, yeah, you said that you were going to, it was like one, it was like the one afternoon before I went away that we would have been able to hang out together. Yeah. And even then, you, we both would have had a show in the evening. So yeah. it wouldn't have been a full day. It just would have been an afternoon. And you said that you were recording. You, Which... You had to go and record something for a friend. And I was a bit like... The reply I got from Carrie made me feel like a ton of bricks had just fallen on me. Because <laughs> I felt so guilty, but I couldn't not... 
say yeah. what it was. So I then had to text Scott and be like, Scott, please help me for the love of God because she's not going to do this. So well, no, like, well, no, we've gotten, we've gotten oh, like sorry. confused. So, so I knew that you wouldn't give up an afternoon that yeah. uh, that specific afternoon that w- it was like our last afternoon off before i went away i knew you wouldn't have given it up f- for nothing so either the recording was like uber 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 important but you hadn't said it was or something was going on that i wasn't meant to know about yeah so i was like okay the right latter, the so latter. You obviously guessed. so then you still didn't know what it was in fairness even if you would have thought it even if you thought, oh, he's going to propose to me, you still actually did not know what it no. was. No. And also in my head, I don't think I would have gone, he's definitely proposing, yeah. because then I would have gotten my hopes up. And then if it would have happened, you would have been... Oh, because yeah, also, it, it, was, been it, been it was your 30th anyway, so it could have exactly. just been... Exactly, so it could have just been yeah, a, a nice meal or something, or, something, or a something or a part. Like yeah, exactly. Um, but the other thing was that you'd said the recording that you were doing was the recording was from 9.30 till 12.30. Yeah. And when I got my email through from the theatre cafe to say they wanted me to do this promotional video, it was from 9.30 to 12.30. So I was a bit like, hmm, that's... I also that didn't know that, feels like, actually. I yeah. didn't know Jack could put that. I was like, that feels like a bit too much of a coincidence. I didn't know put that. So I was like, I wonder what happens if I just say no. So she said no. So I said no. I was like, what? Well, I mean, I... My soul... It's, like, I was like, well, it's my if if Joel's going to be doing recording, then I would rather just spend that time at home. Do you know what it was? It was getting text, stuff it was, sorted it was the and text packing. That went, it was the text that went. Oh, okay. And I knew, I knew, I could, I could literally hear her say it. Okay. Well, I've just said no to this theatre cafe thing, so I might as well go and do that then. And I was like, oh, it was like a dagger. I was just like, oh my god, if only you knew. So anyway. Oh yeah, that was it because it was that way round. I got asked to do the theatre cafe thing and was a bit like, I don't really. Yeah, that you don't want to sound, do it. That doesn't. I, I don't think I want to do that because it's an afternoon off that I'm meant to be having with you. And then I said, I'm going to say no. Mm. You said, Oh well, I've got a recording session from for, from uh, on that day anyway at the same time. So you might as. Well. And I was like, Oh, all right, well. Because because it kind of like you you made me force my arm to go. I have to I have to tell us something. Yeah. That I'm not available. Yeah. But then, but I said, I said, I, uh, I might as well just do it then. But then about half an hour later, I was like, I don't want to do it. Actually, I don't think I am going to do it. She's I'd like, much oh. rather just have the afternoon off. So then all of a sudden, I think it was like the next morning, I had a message from, Scott. from Scott saying, I've just had this message from the theatre cafe and they want us both to do this like treasure hunt thing <laughs> through the West End. Um, so you they, sort of knew that it was something, but. Well, you just I screenshotted exactly that and sent it to Joel and said, I Is, know you're behind this. <laughs> I was like, I know I this like, is I'm you. I'm not, baby, I'm not behind it. And I was like, I can't lie, but then I can't, I couldn't, t- I could not categorically tell you. Yeah. No, of Otherwise you it would have ruined it would have, everything. It would have anyway. Ruined it. Yeah. So, en- ending, Carrie ends up doing it with Scott. So Scott and Carrie end up doing this treasure hunt. Can you just pause for a second? My finger won't stop bleeding. I need to go and get a plaster. Okay. I'm so sorry. Shall I just hold, shall I just freeze? Uh, Oh, shall I slowly carry on? Slowly carry on. Slowly carry on. So, so basically, ladies and gents, while Carrie's gone to get a plaster, <clears throat> I um, got in touch with the Fierce Cafe and then we basically devised this treasure hunt, which firstly, I've got to thank the Theatre Cafe and I've also got to thank all the theatres that helped me out because every theatre that Carrie went to meant something to Carrie. Um, so I will sort of delay and I'll kind of let her tell you because she was there. I was actually just stressing, sweating, just the whole entire time because I, I wasn't with her. So I was at the last venue and Scott was with Carrie and Jack and the team. So it it was like a whole, uh, team of, uh, there was, uh, Danny with the camera was there. He was taking photographs. We had Jake there, who was the videographer. So it was it was definitely set up like it was a proper theatre cafe promo promo thing because that was the whole idea. I think she's back, and then she can I'm tell you the, the rest. When did you get to? I said, I said it's the whole premise. It was the whole theatre. So do you want to tell people sort of where you started and okay. what happened? <sighs> My breath is running up the stairs. Um, 
ever pass the mill. Um, where did you get to? I've not even started on what it was, so you started, where did you start? We started at the Palladium. So basically... Oh, huh? <laughs> so, no. no, I did not. Oh, uh, so basically we had to be there at 9... 9.30. So Scott and I turned up, we went to a prep, got coffee, Livid. around the corner from the Palladium. Livid, weren't you? Livid? You were a little bit angry, weren't you? Because wow. it was so early. Oh, it was so, so early. early. I mean, it's not early, but for someone who works in theatre, and I was working in Kingston at the time yeah. as well, so I wasn't getting home until quarter to one yeah, every it was a morning. Lot. It was a lot. So to then be told that you need to be up at half seven to leave your house, half, half? Your half? half. Your half. half? To leave your house at half eight. Well, eight to be somewhere for half nine. But it was the end of your run. run. It was only, yeah. it was only three shows left. I had three shows left. left. So it was the end of your run. So, yeah. So uh, then we met. So this is this is what threw me off. Where I was like, "Oh, maybe I am wrong," because this is this seems very official. So there was a videographer. I said that. So it was the videographer, was Jake, the photographer, yeah. And then there was Danny with a camera, and then he had a couple people as well who also were like on his like <coughs> photography team taking pictures as well. There was Jack who was like directing the whole thing, and every clue had like a theatre cafe logo on the back. It was like properly printed. I did that. So I was like, maybe I'm this really is like way too official. But also we got to the Palladium and we were like let into the Palladium and we went, someone opened up front of house for us. We went into the, it's called the Cinderella bar up the, uh, like in the, uh, like the dress circle bar. Fire, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous up there. And that's where the first clue was. And the first clue then sent us over to um, the Prince Edward's theatre where I did Mary Poppins and I was a bit like, oh, okay, that's another theatre I've worked in. Maybe that's just the theatre cafe. Yeah, but also could have been theatre cafe because you've done exactly. shows at those. Oris Joel sending me around theatres that I have worked in as like a, I don't know, a sentimental I thing. was actually going to do the Apollo because it was the first place that we met. Oh, that but I, I didn't, I, I wasn't able to. Yeah. Because we would have I'd run out of time. I was scared of running out of time. Yeah. That was why. But we went to uh, Prince Edward's and that was actually really emotional because I got to go backstage into the kids' dressing room. Um, and it wasn't the same dressing room that I was in when I was a kid. But just seeing all of like the Jane Banks hats up on the, the wall like made me super emotional. So then the third, uh, that, that clue led us to the third theatre, which was the Sondheim, which was around the corner, which is obviously where I did Les Mis. Uh, and the clue was on the sound desk at the back of the stalls. Uh, that led us over to the other palace. So we jumped in the cab. And also, so we jumped in the cab and I've got Jake, the videographer, sat in front of me asking me questions. Like, as if this is for the thick, like asking yeah, me like theatre-based questions. So I was like, maybe this is just for the thick. It's <laughs> social. Like, they did really stuff. well though. They were really trying to throw you off. But me they? like an absolute penis, like just giving them like <laughs> theatre stories and stuff. So Back in my day, when I worked I at the like, Palladium I in felt like <laughs> Someone called me Mother Veronica the other day, and I've never felt older. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Veronica. It, I posted a picture of me hugging is Elsa. She the, is she the new nun in The Sound of Music? Yeah, Mother, Mother Veronica. Veronica. I was um, like, wow, okay. I've, so I'm you got old. to the other palace? Got to the other palace. We went on to the stage of the other palace. And now, can I cut in here at this point? Go for it. Because this was major drama. Because it was a certain surprise that happened after the engagement where I had a group of people waiting to surprise us or mainly surprise obviously us, but Carrie, because Carrie didn't know about it. Obviously where we were was in Victoria. Now the other palace is very close to where all our friends were. So they were literally having to duck and dive around the corner. Like after the after I knew about the party, everyone sent me videos of me like walking past yeah. them in coffee shops, and I bump I did bump into someone. I bumped into my my old dresser from Cinderella, Harry. I bumped into him, and he obviously like pooed himself because yeah, he was like, like oh, my oh, my god, god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I meant to be like hiding from her. But also, but also was good because you would have. It wasn't like you saw Scott. Oh, you were Scott. It wasn't yeah. something you saw Geo or yeah, yeah. someone really... It was someone who I probably would have expected or to have seen around like, yeah. theatre land because yeah. they work in theatre land. Whereas if I'd, saw, if I'd seen like my own mum At or that time, because Harry like, could have been doing laundry or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he Whereas have, yeah, if you would have seen like Bradley, you would have been like, 
Why well, are you no, here? Well, no, because even Bradley, o'clock? I think like, in my head, I probably would have right. been. I don't think I would have thought that was weird. I would because I know that I go into theatres at weird times when I'm working at them. But if I'd seen like my but mom, Harry was no relation to me though. Exactly. So that's why. That's why I just sorry. I used Bradley as an example because you would have maybe twigged. Oh, uh, maybe. Do you know what I mean? But but I think if I see anyone who's like vaguely theatrical I know if they've got a theatrical yeah. job around theatre land I'm going to go yeah. I'm not going to go that's weird <clears throat> but if I'd seen like my mum or my brother well, I yeah. would have been like what, what the are hell you are doing? you doing here? Well thank God for your hair Cause, I know because everyone because could see everyone was like we could, everyone literally was coming and going well, we could see her hair so that was another was. thing I'd booked to get my hair done on that Friday yeah, and that was, so here to me. call you know, he had to call up my hairdresser and be like, "Can you change? Can, can you, you change lie? it?" And but lie to Harry and say why you're changing it to a different day. Anyway, can you lie? I was um, all, I, I, it was for a good reason. Of course, it was for a good reason. It's just funny, just very, very funny. <laughs> why are you like slowly sinking Sorry. out of shot? <laughs> Sorry. Um. So. So you got to the other palace. You did the oh, other palace. So, so yeah. So basically, when we were at the Sondheim. They obviously were all wanting to stall and be like, oh, let's have a coffee here. We'll just chill for a bit, maybe get some lunch. Because we all had a WhatsApp group going crazy. I was like, no, let's go to Victoria. And then everyone kept pushing back. And I was like, no, I want to go to Victoria. Because <laughs> you've been so awkward. But I was like, well, no. If, I was like, why, why? Why don't you want me to go to Victoria? Why? I want to know. So then Jack texts me going, everyone's going to Victoria. So then I text everyone on the group going, Guys, if you see her, hide. And that was hide, the thing. Hide. We got to Olenstein to have a coffee in Victoria, and it was so unbearably hot in there that I had to go and sit outside. And everyone was trying to get me to not sit in outside because yeah. they d- obviously didn't want the risk of me bumping into someone. But I was like, guys, was, I'm dripping with sweat. Honestly, I'm so hot right now. I need. I need was, to go and sit outside. She could have been any more awkward if that, she I didn't tried. need to do that though. That was that no, was me that just was genuinely being. So Warm. you went for the other palace and well, I'll, and so basically she ended up at the Victoria Palace where Hamilton is because every theatre that you'd gone to meant something to you. However, yeah. the last one, obviously you would have guessed it was sort of something to do with me. However, mm. you didn't know why you were there. Yeah. Really, did yeah. you? Well, yeah. And then I proposed to you there. Yeah. At the Victoria Palace. Yeah. I won't say how, because I think that's That's our, ours. That's ours. That's ours. But that's where I proposed. It was wonderful. It was lovely. And like I just said before, a massive shout out to the theatres and the theatre cafe. I can't believe the, how many people the, were involved. There were so many people involved that did that. Happen. And it was amazing. It was so wonderful. Um, I'll never be able to thank them enough, actually, for what they did. Um, including all the staff at Hamilton as well, because they were just amazing, weren't they? Like Incredible. Martin and Joe and all those guys who helped, who helped me do that. And then we went to a little, a little place after, didn't we? Where I'd say we sorted a meal. Yeah, you were like Scott and Jack sort of dived out. Yeah, you were like everyone's going gonna go off and have a little break, and we're going to go and have just have a meal. We're gonna go and have a meal just time. us. I lied. I had all of my family, Carrie's family, all of our friends in a little place. Surprised her. It was just. Yeah, it was, it was a really, really cool day. I just felt so that like because obviously the proposal, I kind of had an inkling. So. Yeah, but you had no clue. I had no, I, yeah. but well, I had no clue how you were going to propose. So that was obviously a surprise, but I was sort of like semi prepared for it. And also because we talked about it so much, I knew it was coming at some point. Yeah. But that, that walking into a room of like all of <coughs> my closest family and friends, yeah. I felt like overwhelmed, but in the best sense. Yeah. But that, but that like weekend I had, I got engaged i had my 30th birthday and then my final two shows of caucasian chalk circle the next day and then flew to disney so by the time i got on the plane flying to disney i was sort of just looking at my ring like what's just happened had, so much has just happened in the pro- last like I proposed 72 to my girlfriend hours. celebrated your birthday and then i got ill oh god you didn't were I? So Ill. <laughs> I was ill for a whole week while you were in disney I was like, i'm not surprised though because like the anxiety <coughs> that you must have felt leading up to that proposal, <coughs> hoping stressful. that everything was good, like the stress. It was stressful. So, but like stressful. when it happened, you must have just been like, oh, and then, like when you stop or when something big happens, your body just goes, and we're done. Peace yeah, out. It's like, See ya. Yeah, we will save this live. Promise we'll save this live because it's the first one we've actually done. Should we be able to? That, so that's the engagement story. There we are. We we did. We've done that well, I think. Do you want to start a family together? <laughs> Go 
Guys, oh, there's, something that, there's something that you don't know. Um, no, don't, no, don't do that. Not yet. Not yet. We're not there yet. No, we're not there yet. Abs, abs, I'm no. Ab- absolutely, a hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait for her to be a mummy for sure. That's something that I've never really talked about, just because I, I've always been with people who haven't shared that want, and I was always young enough to sort of not worry about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also think though, and something that something that I've we've both sort of harped on about though, and we said, as much as we do want to start a family, we do want to have because we're always so busy. It, it's really yeah. hard for us to actually get time. Like the only time me and Carrie actually do get together is actually when we go on holiday. Really? Yeah. When it's just sort of yeah, us, sort of like it? mornings and evenings and you know. the odd days like this where we actually do. Get and it's to funny spend because like together. from when we started dating, you were in Cinderella. I was rehearsing Hamilton, mm. and then we switched. You'd stop Cinderella, and I was in yeah, Hamilton so you evenings. Were doing so then we went. And I was doing we had one week doing. where we didn't have anything. Yes, yeah, so we were like quick. And then we did something in. We did. We did like went and saw a few shows and did things. Then I started Hamilton. Then we got a week in Croatia. Mm. Then you started Caucasian. So you were rehearsing in the day, and I was performing in the evening. Mm. Then we got into Caucasian. Your first week was tech, and then shows. Second week of Caucasian, I was in crew. Mm. Oh, God, yeah. Third week, we were on the same schedule, but you were on your last week, so then you went to Florida. Yeah. Florida for two weeks, came back, four or five days, went yeah. to Canterbury. So I'm like, it, I don't think genuinely people understand how much time we've, like, we actually get to spend with yeah. each other physically. Physically. Physically, yeah. Physically. Like, we obviously are texting and FaceTiming all the time, but it it does matter so like as much as we want to start a family which is really important to us both i think there's a lot that we want to do together before yeah, then just before that happens which i think is, I think is we've fair. got a couple of holidays booked for next year which yeah I'm for about. sure for sure um, but family's definitely on the cards uh what christmas tradition oh this is a good question what christmas tradition are you excited to share for the first time I don't know. I don't think I have any Christmas traditions that are like out of the blue or that other people don't also do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I think what I'm looking forward to is making our own. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I I was saying like I've never really done stockings. Yeah. I don't... In fact, saying that, I do remember having a stocking as a kid, but I remember it being like your classic like Satsumas. (laughs) Yeah, or coal. you were bad mm, i never got cold <laughs> it was a good girl yeah so i think probably probably starting our own would be cute yeah or just sharing the ones that we the ones that we may have always done to, uh, uh, the ones that we may have always done but Separately have never done together. together yeah well we said that a lot about disney haven't we yeah but like we've like bacon like... sandwiches and bucks in the morning like that's stuff that yeah. we've always done separately but now yeah. it's something no, that we yeah, get to share yeah, yeah for sure Carrie, uh, yes. looking forward to seeing you in Canterbury. Do you prefer to play a princess <gasps> or a villain? Have I ever played a prince? Oh, well, well Cinderella, Cinderella, yeah, Cinderella. But she wasn't really a princess. I, a villain. I mean, I don't know why I'm like debating, but like, a villain. I'm definitely a villain. I'm having so much plum. Plum. I can't plum. speak. Oh. I'm having so much plum. So much plum. I'm having so much fun playing a villain. Um. Have you seen, oh, have you seen Disenchanted? That's, That's literally what we're going to do job. right after this live, ladies and gents. Um, Joel, did you choose Carrie's ring or did you choose it together? So I had a little bit of help from Scott. I mean, if you ever want to know what your bride wants, ask the best friend. Um, and he sent me some ideas. I went away. I knew her favourite colour was green. I knew she loved emeralds. But I wanted to make it more unique to carry. So um, there was more of a kind of curvature. No, curve. I say curvature and that's wrong, isn't it? No, it's not wrong. But, but you, we use it in a different... It's a curved ring, remember. isn't it? Yeah, there's a but curve the, to it. The ring has got... Yeah, there's a, there's a curve to the ring um, just because I didn't want it to be a... Sorry, ring of the, and it's a platinum band and it's got two diamonds on either side and a, a cushion a cushion emerald in the middle so yeah I think I got it right right yeah I got it right definitely that's, that's a good thing 
It's the curve in the band that I love the most. Obviously, I love the, the emeralds and the diamonds. But I think I, I feel like that just like sets it apart yeah. from like other. I love the ring box. <laughs> the, the ring, ring box, box with the light like, though is amazing. That's the first thing you talked about. Like yeah, after but I the can't you were like, you. look at the look at the light in the yeah, box. Yeah, I did. I was like, like, but what about the because ring? Because when the ring box opens up, it's got like a little spotlight, and I was it's like, I was cool. I was amazed by it. I'm not gonna lie. It's very good. Um, are you gonna vlog and duet together? Yeah, we probably will. We probably will at some at point. At some point. What musical theatre stroke Disney duo would you compare yourselves to? Oh god, we said this. Disney duo, yeah, we Wreck It Ralph. And Vanellope. And Vanellope. <laughs> um, I'm Ovs. Vanellope. I said Wally and Eve. <laughs> yeah, Wally and Eve. I think Wally we and like Eve. Wally and Eve. And uh, uh, Bernard and Bianca from The Rescuers. Yeah. Rescue Aid Society. Um, musical theatre duo. I don't know. I don't know really. Mm. That's a tough one. Uh, question there: What musical would you like to? Do? There's so many that we've spoken about that we'd love to that do. We'd together. love to play. Yeah. There's so many we'd love to. Um, do you know what? It's out there, isn't it? If people want us to do it, then I'm sure at some point we will hopefully get to do something together, which would be really, yeah. really nice. Yeah, just uh, to be fair, it would just be nice to be... Obviously, it would be lovely to play opposite each other, but it would just be nice to be in the same show. Yeah, because then we'd probably see each other more yeah. than we more than we see each other now. Cassette uh, and Marius, We're I mean... We're past that, I think. Listen. Look, we, I've got more we're chance flattered. Of, I've got more chance of playing Cassette than I have <laughs> Marius right now. We are flattered. So, um, but we are... Dead. We are in our 30s now. Oh, we had a Jenna and Dr. Pom. Do you know what? Like, I love that show and you'd be an amazing Jenna. However, I think I've got such a soft spot for Ogie. You were such a perfect Ogie. Like, that it's really, it would be really hard to do that. Um, Baker and the Baker's Wife, that's, a, that's I would yeah. love to play those parts. What's a, musical, what's a musical you've never been in that you've always wanted to be in? I mean, Sweeney Todd, for me, I always wanted to be in that, Into the Woods. I'd love to be in Waitress. You'd be a great in Waitress. Yeah, I'd love to be oh, in Waitress. Oh, okay, what, okay, here's, here's, this is, oh, is this, I was going to say this is quite egotistical. I don't mean in any e e egotistical way. What show have I done would you like to be in and what show have you done oh. that I'd like to be in? I'd love to have been in Heather's just because I think I do like the show. I love the show. You'd make a great Heather Chandler. Listen, Jodie Steele, you better watch out. That's um, what I'm Kiss Me Kate, I'd l I think I love... I'd love one of the gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love the part that, um, obviously played Kate, but I love that part. I think it's such a great part that Becky Locke played. Yeah, she and she was ridiculous. Becky Locke's just ridiculous. She's ridiculous. And ridiculous we mean amazing. Good. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and something like you in town. I loved you in town when I watched yeah, it. Yeah, you, you'd be great in that. Because I only saw it the once and it was so long ago, I feel like I need to see it again to be reminded of yeah, the actual it's show. Great. It was a great show. I remember at the end of Act 1 being like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my God! I just, we used to call it, the opening of Act 2 was the 20 minutes of death. Because it just didn't stop. Right. It didn't stop. Because um, you saw remember. the Apollo, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, the St. James is, like, well, what is the other palace now? It was just like... This is very disgusting, but it really helped with the show. You'd be sweating so much, you'd have all the blood, and it would just flick onto people. And there was just something about the atmosphere of how it made you feel. Yeah. It was just, it was more in that world. I love stuff like that. I love it was great. Palace. It is, it's amazing. Um, oh, wait there. No. I clicked on the wrong thing. I did click on the wrong thing. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I think I've put too many of those sen sensicles on the tree because it smells so strongly. <laughs> Of spiced pine cones. Dead. Oh, uh, here we go. Yes, this is what I want to know. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, there will. The beginning of next year, we're going to Disneyland Paris. Oh yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> yeah, I booked it. You booked it. <laughs> I booked it for Carrie's thirtieth. Yeah. I um. Miss Honey and Trunchbull. That would be so good. I'm Miss Honey, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Rude. I thought I'd be Matilda, to be honest. Um, I'd be a great Bruce, eating chocolate <laughs> cake all night. I'd love to do, um, Mr. Wormwood. Yeah. Why not? I'd be a great Mrs. Wormwood. It's, it's the bit in, when I'd it says Telly, 
You know, the telly song. Hello! Telly! I could be my But when point. he... <laughs> when he's, like, point. throwing all the books and he's like, Jane Austen in the compost bin. Like... <laughs> Like, some of the rhymes are so good. Yeah, and also too clever for him anyway. Like, he literally doesn't know <laughs> yeah. what he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there it. will be a Disney trip. Uh, I, when I knew Carrie was turning 30, Disneyland Paris have got their 30th birthday. So I thought it'd be really sweet to kind of go over and do that. Uh, and then I'm also taking her to Iceland because she's always wanted to go to, to Iceland. Lagoon. To Iceland. Oh, buffering. Why is it buffering? Sorry, it shouldn't oh, be buffering. Um, ha- <laughs> has Joel seen the Tom's wedding speech? <laughs> Listen, I have got the hardest act to follow. However, what I will say is that Tom's speech was phenomenal and that was for Tom and for G and whatever, whatever I decide to do will be for me and Carrie. So it's, it's always going to be different anyway. Yeah. But Tom by far has done... It's not even just me. I don't think anyone can compete with that. Who can compete with a speech where he'd also written the songs that he rewrote the lyrics to? Yeah, there's only very like, few people in the world that would be able you know, to pull that off. It's only like Elton John or Sting that could probably come to that yeah. sort of... That sort of um, you know. But also, I would hate the idea that on a day that's as important as our wedding day... All I'm thinking about All is... All you're thinking yeah. about is... Yes, yeah, exactly. ...the expectation of what your speech... I'd rather you just go, I'm not doing a speech then. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Um, what, what's what been your favourite moments from this year? Um, getting engaged. Okay, so take, say that to given. Getting engaged. <laughs> I love being... Uh, Croatia was fun. Uh, do, do you know what? Not in a... Because uh, obviously I'm completely in love with this woman. However, what I would say is how this developed. Yeah. Like that's been exciting. Like the whole thing. The whole ride of it. Has been amazing. Yeah. And and also I think for both of us had never thought that anything like this would happen. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. That's probably been, I'm going to try some really cool things. Oh, like, as in like things that we've just gone out and done. The, the Doctor Strange film was great. The ABBA voyage was great that we went to watch. That Abba was voyage cool. Was so good. We went with Geo and Tash, didn't we? That was yeah. really good fun. Oh, the escape room that we did the was escape room. so good. Cat, the, the cat lady escape room. Yeah, I forgot we went to ABBA voyage. That was really fun ABBA with Geo and Tash. ABBA voyage was really good. ABBA voyage was really cool. Um, what else? I guess in the nice way, like Hamilton, opening Hamilton yeah. for me was cool. Um, Caucasian, Caucasian for you. Caucasian Circle was great. Panto. I mean, I'm literally you know, having, having the best, best time in Panto. Panto. I want to open before I like, sp- I feel like I'm speaking too soon because I've only done two weeks worth of rehearsals and I don't want, oh, we've only got one minute 56 before this cuts us off. Guys. But yeah, I just do? don't want to speak too soon with Panto because I want to open first. And it still continue to be amazing and then go, okay, yeah. this is great. I get it. Well, guys, since we've only got one minute 40 left, um, thanks for joining us. We just thought we'd do a little live and... Sorry for making you yawn. I've got the proper yawns. I can't stop. Sorry. Um, yeah, we just thought we'd sort of tell you how it happened, I guess. Well, I don't even think that's why we came on here, but obviously that's the, that's they're the, the questions that question people want to know. So. Wanna know. Um, but yeah, anyway... All the love. We'll we'll do a live when we're together <laughs> again at some point. Um, but have a lovely night, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. How do I do it? How do I get off? Cross. Of-